Today I am a nutritional pharmacist, which is a, a pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Really happy to be on today's call and we have a couple of topics today that I want to discuss. Number one is being dandruff and I did have a couple callers from my team and of course people in general and as a pharmacist people would ask me a lot what can I do for dandruff. First off, I want you to understand that any external condition in the body is actually the body sending you a signal that something's going on and we need to pay attention. So it's pretty much akin to, you know, the red light on the dashboard of your car or the beeping sound that your car makes when it's backing up. These are things you want to pay attention to. And a lot of what we learned in, you know, throughout life is to ignore these symptoms. So believe it or not, dandruff is a symptom. And dandruff is a symptom that you're missing nutrients. And the top three nutrients that you're missing are essential fatty acids, zinc, and selenium. Nevertheless, I do not advocate cherry picking your nutrients. You do need the full spectrum. We've identified 90 essential nutrients. You need all 90 of these nutrients to accomplish all your biochemical mecha, you know, uh, excuse me, reactions that are happening in your body. So all of these 90 essential nutrients are essential to help your body biochemically thrive. Yet, I want to discuss essential fatty acids. I also want to go into zinc and selenium. So when you're getting dandruff, what it actually is is flaking. And a lot of us have had that, or, or we know people that have had it. And what that is, is that the skin is starting to flake in large chunks. Normally the skin cells just gently slough off. They just kind of fall off one at a time. And, um, you know, that's a really great, a great thing, right, that um, the skin cells will naturally do that. So when we're not nutriating properly, when we don't have enough fats, there, that, that doesn't happen. That stops that process. So these essential fats, essential, also known as essential fatty acids, when they're in our body and they're in our blood and they end up in our skin, it allows for that natural sloughing to happen. So one cell at a time, you know, of course it's more than one during the day, but it's that one cell that keeps your skin supple and soft. And I know some of us have friends that have amazingly soft skin. I guarantee you that these people have great fat intake and also great fat absorption. People that have had their gallbladders removed, they will find that they are not absorbing fats. And a lot of times people with gallbladder, you know, if gallbladder missing or gallbladder issues, digestive issues, they will see that they have dry skin and it can also manifest as dandruff. And what dandruff is, is again, there's not the essential fatty acids in the body to help you do that. So your cells actually start, the skin cells start to, you know, stick together and that is what you see is the flaking of the skin. So this is great, right? This is a wonderful way for you to see that something's going on. Any, anything happening in your body, again, is a guidance tool, something for you to be using to guide yourself to better health. So dandruff is a sign that you need more fats in your diet. I have a variety of ways I like to get fats. I definitely do recommend fish oils, huge fan of fish oils. And I also recommend avocados and if you are craving McDonald's french fries, I encourage you to go to the store and buy three or four avocados and just sit down and eat them all. Because 99% of the time when we're craving those deep fried fatty foods, really we're craving the fat. And it's a place where our body knows because we've trained it that that's where it can get the fat. So we want to you know, use that as a signal. And a lot of times if you just stop Eat some avocados, or if you're exceptionally brave, you can grab some hemp oil, shake it up, or some flax oil. You always want to shake your liquid oils before you use them, and then take a couple, three or four tablespoons of a nice flax oil, or a nice hemp seed oil, or even a cod liver oil. And I guarantee it, any of you that are brave enough to try that, you're going to find that your fat craving, your craving for those french fries, is going to go away, because you are craving the fats. So there's a, there's a nice little tip for you. And you know, we're all road warriors out there. We're all living in a pretty intense urban jungle. And we have to learn tactics how to survive. Because if you live in the urban jungle like I do, uh, on every corner is a fast food restaurant filled with toxic foods that taste very yummy. And you need to be diligent and vigilant to prevent yourself from swerving into those places. It's very easy. So that's why having fats on board in your car, like traveling with some walnuts, 
apples, you know, various uh, extra food. I, I pretty much never leave the house without an apple. I always have some walnuts around. When I, um, you know, at work, I have a little refrigerator area. If there's room for that, that I can put my secret, uh, my secret for my little lunch that I have. I just don't rely on other people to feed me, or should you? So please be doing that on a daily, packing some sort of food supply for yourself so you're not tempted to eat those McDonald's french fries because, again, avocados, hemp oils, flax oils, essential fatty acids, fish oils, those are what our body actually needs. The other two things that are directly linked to dandruff are these amazing minerals known as one is zinc and the other one is selenium. And I want all of you to think about it and remember the shampoos, or maybe you use them. So head and shoulders, it has zinc in it. That's what's in it. And that is what the zinc mineral, the skin gets the zinc, and then it can start doing the work to clear out the dead cells. Selsin Blue is actually a selenium-containing shampoo. So those are pretty neat. Those are two examples near and dear to my heart of you know the pharmacy business really nailing it and these were remedies that have been around for a long time and they were cl clearly right on the right on point because they were using nutrients skin nutrients to help reverse the condition nevertheless it isn't t treating the underlying condition it isn't going internal it's just a topical solution so for those of you out there, what would you do? Well, you're topically applying, for example, maybe head and shoulders zinc or potentially selsin blue, which is a selenium. What would you do? You most likely would add zinc and selenium to your diet. And what's so amazing about the work that I do is advocating the 90 essential nutrients, and that contains all of those minerals. You're getting the full spectrum. Back to the EFAs. EFAs, essential fatty acids, cannot do their job without zinc. So if you have a deficiency in zinc, you will not actually be able to absorb your EFAs. And if you have um, a deficiency in EFAs, you will not be able to absorb your zinc. So both of those things are tightly woven together. It's things to think about, right? So one nutrient usage actually facilitates uh, the absorption of another nutrient. Hence why the 90 essential nutrients are so amazing is because you're covering the whole plethora, you're covering all of your bases to get what you need on a day-to-day -day basis. So for those of you out there suffering from dandruff, definitely up your fish oil intake, high quality fish oils, essential fatty acids. Please get on the 90 essential nutrients, which includes the uh, fish oils, the essential fatty acids. But the minerals you really want to look at is zinc and selenium. So I just like to give an overview of that. I'm going to move on to the next topic. We do have a listener today that is experiencing, she's having some edema, some swelling in her leg. And she wanted to know what's causing that. She's also having a lot of pain in sciatica. And just to give her a brief biochemistry of what's happening in her body, her body is actually right now unable to get the fluids back into her liver. Any swelling in the lower extremities or outer extremities is a sign that you're having fluid retention, which means that your body is not able to kind of move that fluid back. So she's having some vasculature issues, and she needs, it's definitely a sign, right? We talked about this. This is a, hey, hey, pay attention to me. This is her body saying, you got to change something. And so what I would recommend for her is definitely looking at her diet immediately. And if she's up for it, I would highly encourage her to cut out sweets, sugars. And I would also encourage her to lay off gluten. And the reason is, is that both of those products are extremely highly inflammatory and they are causing an inflammatory cascade in her body. And the reason her body has become porous and her vasculature has become porous is because of an inflammatory cascade that's being, that has probably been consistently ignited in her body for quite a while and is now led to edema. I've had patients that as soon as they make those changes, literally within days, they'll see a huge shift in their edema. Then someone like that would want to start nutriating, make sure, sure they're supplementing to start repairing the vasculature because one of the ways the body will repair and regenerate and for her, her vasculature needs the nutrients to do that. So if she, for her in particular, I would say gluten-free, please lay off the sugar. 
And again, what I'm trying to do is zero in and make this quick. I'm trying to get her to get the quickest response in the shortest period of time. And those two things alone are going to turn everything around really fast. And then I would, of course, add, you know, encourage her to start supplementing. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll hear patients, they'll say to me, well, why does this happen? You know, I was doing so good, and then I turned 40, and everything fell apart. It didn't happen overnight, my friend. It's a slow, progressive march towards ill health, and there were things that were happening in your 20s that were contributing to this. And finally, when the body falls apart, the body just finally said, hey, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. So either we can listen at the beginning stages of what's happening, or we can ignore our bodies, which a lot of us have been trained to do. And also, we've been trained to do that by the medical model, which gives us medications, which technically interrupts the signaling. So pain is a signaler. It's telling you something's wrong and you need to change it up. And when you take things that stop your pain, you're actually ignoring it and you're continuing most likely to do things that are hurting you. So please know that. So what you're learning today, don't feel upset that you didn't learn it yet. It's just, you know, here it is, you're learning it today and take this information and move forward with it and know that you're not alone and you can do it. And on that note, I'd like to turn the call over to someone I know that has done it and has an amazing story to share with us. So welcome, Miss Rebecca Dukes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I just want to thank you so much, Melissa, for having me on the call today. Um, you know, I am very guilty of ignoring my body. I thought from a childhood that pain was normal. I had pain in my ankles. I had pain in my knees. I had pain through my spine. I had headaches. I had my first migraine starting at... Um, in fifth grade, you know, and it was just one of those things, well, well, things happen, or, you know, a lot of times I didn't even complain to my parents, because I just thought it was something that was normal, and I just kept going, um, but now as an adult, I am so thankful that I know that what I put into my body has such a huge impact on how I'm going to feel. Um, at the age of 30, I had fallen. I uh, received two compression fractures in my thoracic spine, T7 and 8. Um, they did an MRI, and then they sent me right over to the University of Washington to see one of their top neurologists. And whenever he had come into the room, he looked down at the chart, he turned around and walked back out. Well, he came back in and he said, you know, I have to apologize. I thought for sure I was coming in to see somebody that was at least 65, 70 years old. He said, you have inflammation and arthritis and bone spurs head to toe. He said, there's no way I thought I was coming to see somebody 30 years old. And I, I wasn't a junk food eater. I mean, I, I was fortunate enough at the time where I could eat whatever I wanted. But I, I left the junk out. I, had, I really had no taste for chips and soda, you know, um, stuff like that. Although I did like my baked goods. I did a lot of baking. And now I know that a lot of my inflammation was the result of eating those baked goods because of the gluten intolerance. Um, in 2015 then, I had a car accident and added to my mix, I got five herniated discs, three in my neck, two in my lumbar, and a uh, torn hip capsule, and the migraines just got nonstop, 24-7. And even a year of doing physical therapy three times a week and decompression therapy and pain management and pressure point injections, I had almost no relief. And I knew, I knew there's got to be something out there because I didn't want surgery. Um, I knew God made our bodies to 
be able to take care of ourselves if we feed it right. And I thought I was feeding it right, but it turns out the food that I was eating, even though it was quote-unquote healthy, it was still nutrient deficient. Um, my husband was listening to talk radio one day, and he pulled over to the side of the road. This was actually a year ago, end of February, or, yeah, end of February. And he said, sweetheart, I want you to look this website out. We'll just talk about it when I get home. It's like, oh, okay. He, he's not a technical person, so it must be important. So I better get on it. Um, so I pulled it up, and it was about this doctor who started out as a vet, which we were farm folk and would rather go see the vet than the doctor any day. Um, because we just thought that, you know, uh, so many of them had the ability to help us without pharmaceuticals instead of just handing out prescriptions. And I had seen that with my folks where there was one prescription and then the next month there was another prescription and the next month. And, you know, it was just kind of a domino effect that once you got started, it just kept getting more and more. Well, I had ordered um, one of the nutritional packs that the doctor had recommended. It, it just, what he was saying made sense. He had done my research. He had gone around the world trying to figure out what was causing heart disease and, and um, you know, kidney failures and diabetes and stuff. And they're not just in humans. They're in animals, too. Now, when he took his research from autopsies and he compared them to those of humans, it was a direct correlation. So why not put together the supplements that, you know, with this pathology um, research, found out all these different nutrients that the body has in it, and if it's deficient in one, it's consistently lining up with the same condition. So we ordered the pack. I started on it. Two weeks into taking the product, I woke up and I had no migraine. And I, it was, you know, I got up and I was doing, and then all of a sudden I realized my head's not hurting. I can think clearly. You know, and, and that in itself was like, oh, this is wonderful. Well, I was still having pain. I was still having the numbness and tingling into my arms and legs. And um, the sharpness in my in my tip was just horrific. But about the third week into it, then I was able to roll out of bed, step on the floor, and start walking to the restroom. And again, realized I didn't have to hold on to anything because the pain wasn't there. And I was like, oh, if that's all the relief I get from this, it is well worth it. Well. A few months into it, I had no more tingling, tingling, no more pain going into my hands and feet. Um, I could sit on long drives where before I could sit five minutes maybe um, without having to get up and then walk around. And the last couple of months, I have made six round trips driving, um, 1,400 mile trips as we're in a move and packed my own boxes and moved my own boxes and loaded my own boxes and unloaded with very little pain. I mean, it's not, not even the soreness that you usually get after doing a lot of activity. The muscle pain just is not there, nor is the joint pain. Of course, occasionally I'll turn wrong or something and I'll get a little, you know, ouch, that kind of didn't feel too good. But it doesn't last. And that's something that before I would get a chiropractic adjustment and I would feel good for a day and then the next day it was right back to where I was because everything was flipped out. And I truly believe that whenever you have the right nutrition, your body is able to bounce back. I had insulin resistance before. I no longer have the insulin resistance. Even on products that were supposed to help lower my inflammation, I still had an insulin resistance of 14, which was really high. And the doctor that had prescribed the, the product that was supposed to reduce my inflammation and my insulin, and just it wasn't doing it for me. Um, but now I, I am so thankful that I don't have the insulin resistance anymore. I can't recall what the number is, but it's 
seemed like it was about half of what it was. And, you know, I just am so thankful that I'm able to wake up in the morning and not have to worry about if my feet hit the floor, is my whole body going to hit the floor, because the pain hurts so bad. I just don't have it. And I'm not going to go another day in my life without making sure that my body is getting the supplements that, that it requires. That's the way it was designed. So that's my story. And thank you very much for the thought and share it. You are welcome, Rebecca. My pleasure. All right, everyone, so happy you joined us on Facebook Live, and we are here for you anytime. If you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you. All right, God bless.